Hello there, Pisces. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of October 5th through the 11th. On Monday, the card that's coming up for you is the Five of Coins. And the Five of Coins is just telling me that you have some kind of situation happening Monday which tightens up your budget. So this could be taking on a new payment. Maybe you're upgrading your phone or maybe you traded in your car for another car and so now your car payment is bigger. Something like that where um, your money has to, where your money is is uh, being spread a little bit thinner than what it used to be. Okay, so it's a tightening up of the budget that I see coming in on Monday, Pisces. Now Tuesday is a really fabulous card. This is the Three of Swords and it's in reverse. So this is talking about that you have an old heart injury. So and generally this is a an emotional type of thing, an old heart injury. And I, actually I've had this healing card come up for somebody healing from a physical heart injury as well. Um, but this is talking about healing up from a heart injury. So this could be having a conversation with somebody who maybe said something that really did hurt your feelings or hurt your heart, break your heart. Um, this can also be doing some spiritual healing on yourself or maybe even doing um, some work with a therapist to help yourself heal up from some old heart injuries so that you're able to um, move forward again without hanging on to old grudges and old unforgiveness and old anger that you're able to just let that all kind of flow out and let your heart be motivated and, and held by your own pure energy again. Okay, so that's Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Pisces, what we have showing up is the Justice card. So for those of you in court on Wednesday, you can expect justice to prevail, but this does not have to be about a court situation. So for those of you who are not in court on Wednesday, this can have to do with uh, maybe if you get pulled over by a police officer, um, this can have to do with somebody in the family judging you, this can have to do with a situation at work where you're being judged. Um, but whenever the justice card comes in right side up like this, this means that justice will prevail. So if you've been acting the way that you know that um, you're expected to act in the situation that you're being judged on, then you can expect that that will be reflected in the final judgment on the situation. If you have been acting under the table and sneaky and trying to get away with stuff, you can expect that that will be reflected in the judgment too. So if you've been um, handling things in an upright way with great integrity, your judgment will be in your favor. If you've been handling things without so much integrity, that judgment is going to be a spanking basically coming at you. So that's what I have coming up for you Pisces on Wednesday. Hopefully none of the Pisces that watch me are getting spankings. All of my Pisces have good integrity. <laughs> So on Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the Hermit in Reverse. And the Hermit in Reverse just means that Thursday, you're going to be spending some time on your own, kind of thinking through some things, working through some issues. And by the end of the day, you're going to be like, okay, I'm tired of being by myself. It's time to go out and be social. So even if that just means going out to the mall and doing some people watching, whatever it is, um, I do see you getting out and getting social by the end of the day Thursday, but I do feel like uh, before the end of the day, you are spending a lot of time on your own on Thursday. Friday, we have the Knight of Clubs in reverse. This just means that Friday you're going to be doing some kind of tedious work. Um, so it's not going to be anything that's very inspired, that makes you feel great or, or makes you think about things in a new way or anything. <laughs> it's going to be some kind of work, excuse me for that noise there, it's going to be some kind of work that is um, something you could do with your eyes closed and your hands tied behind your back. Just some kind of boring, tedious type thing, not anything very inspired at all, but something necessary, something that has to happen. So um, interesting that I'm getting advice from Spirit on this is turn up the music. <laughs> turn up the music while you're doing this. At least enjoy that much. Saturday, what we have coming up, Pisces, is we have the Queen of Swords. This is somebody that you're going to be interacting with, Pisces. For most of you, it will be female. Um, this is a general reading, though, so we're not going to pinpoint it and nail it down. For, for the minority of you, it will be males. Queen of Swords. 
What I'm getting for you, Pisces, is when this woman is interacting with you, she is ready to cut away the dead weight. She has just about had enough. She is frustrated by some things that are going on in her life. So there are certain situations that she is ready to get rid of. There are certain um, relationships even for some of them, some of these queens of swords, that they are just ready. They're just done. Done. And... Um, I try not to be really crude in my videos, but I also try to bring through what Spirit tells me to bring through. So if you have kids around, you may want to put on the mute for about a minute. <laughs> so I'm giving you a little time to do that. But I feel like this lady, there are some things going on in her life where she is literally saying, piss on this. So I'm going to be very surprised if many of you don't actually hear those words coming out of her mouth for Spirit to give me those words just like that. Um, but anyway, what is... She is just ready to clear the decks of anything that is not productive for her anymore. And I feel like when she sees you on Saturday, I feel like she's going to be asking you for help in doing that. She's going to want your assistance in that. You're not part of what she's clearing away. But she sees you as somebody who could be very efficient at helping her with the things that she does need to clear away. Okay, so that's Saturday, Pisces, and then Sunday we have the Chariot card showing up in reverse for you. The Chariot card is good whether it's right side up or whether it's upside down, I think. When it comes in in reverse, it just means the same thing as right side up, only it just means it's going to take a little longer. So the Chariot card really is talking about achieving a goal or a target or a dream. And you achieve this goal or target or dream by using your own self-discipline and also by um, coordinating with other people. So other people are supporting you and helping you and maybe that's going both ways. Maybe you're supporting them and helping them too. So you have this energy exchange that's working really well for you. So it's a special kind of victory. It's that victory that involves your own self-discipline and also coordination with other people. This is not something that falls in your lap. You do work for it. Okay, now when the chariot card comes in in reverse on Sunday, what this is telling me is that you are in the process is still on Sunday. I don't see that you have total victory, but I do see that you're making progress on this situation. Maybe you're coordinating with the people, uh, the other people that are necessary. Maybe you're working on your self-discipline. But something's going on where you're putting some real effort into getting this project to manifest on Sunday. Um, like I said, I don't see it coming through Sunday, but the fact that the card shows up, even in reverse, tells me that you will have this target or this goal. You will have the victory there, and um, it's on the way. It's on the way, so don't give up. No giving up allowed. <laughs> Your victory is on the way, so just keep on keeping on until it actually shows up. Okay, so Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. That is your week. I do appreciate all of you hanging out with me and spending the time. Those of you who have been watching my um, daily videos so faithfully, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you to everyone who's had a reading with me and everyone who will have. And of course, also thank you to everybody watching, sharing, liking, subscribing to my videos. I appreciate all of your support at whatever level it is so much. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time. Peace out.